So in this section, we're going to look specifically at the scaffold widget and add that to our app. If we drill in at uh, flutter.dev into the scaffold unit, uh, lots of documentation here, lots of examples, uh, no video on this one. So some have YouTube videos, some do not, but this one actually has more uh, examples that you can run than the container that we looked at uh, in the last one. But a scaffold is essentially uh, what you might uh, expect from uh, a building scaffold. It just holds all of the elements on your screen together. And so a scaffold would have a section for an app bar, which is the bar that you see at the top of the screen uh, in some apps. It has a property for a floating action button, which is this button you see here and is pretty common in uh, Android or Google-based uh, applications. It has a body, which is most of the space on your screen. Uh, it has elements for tabs, which we don't see in this example, but you could have tabs at the top uh, on your screen. It has a spot for navigation buttons down at the bottom. Um, you can actually see all of the properties available on it down here at the bottom of the screen, and there are many. But like I said, you don't need to know all these properties. You just need to know where to come if you ever need to look for them. So coming back to our app, let's add a scaffold to this screen to make it look more like a app that you might see out in the real world. So what I'm going to do with this text here is I'm just going to hit enter. We're going to move it to the next line for now. Uh, instead of returning that text, in fact, I'll comment it out. Instead of returning that text, we want to return a scaffold widget. And I immediately get a pop-up here with all of the properties that we just saw in the documentation. And if I lose that, I can access it again with control and space, get those back here. The one I want to add now, I want to add a body to this scaffold. So that's just the main portion of the screen will be the body. And we'll give it a widget. And why don't we just give it our hello widget? So if I uncomment that, and I cut it and I put it right here as the body because this is expecting a widget. I can see that when I hover over it. I want to get rid of the semicolon and in fact I want to move it out to the end of the scaffold. And I hit save, hot reload happens and you can see that I have the hello world uh, all the way up here in the left hand corner. It doesn't look tremendous because it is underneath uh, this information bar from the device. However, we don't have that ugly black now. We have a white background like you might expect to see uh, on a standard app. Now the reason we have hello world all the way up here is this is the default. Everything's going to get thrown to the top left corner of the available space and because our body is taking up the whole device, that's where it's going to land. Ordinarily, you would see a header bar here at the top of the screen, and then the body would be down below that. So that's really what we're missing here to make it look less confused than it does now. So in the next section, let's take a look at the app bar widget.